That's all for today. Normal lectures will start tomorrow. <laughs> Attention all teachers. Please report immediately to the faculty office for a brief staff meeting. All students must return to their classrooms and are not to leave the school until further notice. Duh. You heard the announcement. Don't go anywhere until you hear otherwise. He's seriously getting on my nerves. Did something happen? Don't those sirens sound really close? Ah, I can't see a damn thing. Frickin' fog. Yeah, like every time it rains lately, it gets all foggy. Hey, did you hear? I hear that paparazzi's looking all over for that announcer. Oh yeah, you mean Mayumi Yamano, right? I heard some guy spotted her at the shopping district. Actually, I heard that. Are you serious? Hey, Yukiko-san. Mind if I ask you something? Is it true that announcer staying at your family's inn? I can't discuss such things. Yeah, I guess not. Oh, sheesh. How much longer is this gonna take? There's no telling. I should have left before the announcement came on. By the way, did you try what I told you the other day? You know, that thing about rainy nights. No, not yet. Sorry. Aw, that's okay. It's just, I heard a guy in the class next door yell something like, My soulmate is Yamano, the announcer! Attention, all students! There has been an incident inside the school district. Police officers have been dispatched around the school zone. Please stay calm and contact your parents or guardians as soon as possible and quickly leave the school grounds. Do not disturb the police officers. Head directly home. I repeat. Incident? What, something actually happened? Come on, let's go take a look. Hey, are you going home by yourself? Why don't you come with us? Oh, nearly forgot. I'm Chie Satonaka. You know, I sit next to you, right? Well, nice to meet you. This is Yukiko Amagi. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm sorry that this is so sudden. Come on, don't apologize like that. It makes me look like I got no upbringing. I just wanted to ask some stuff, really. That's all. Uh, 
Um, Miss Satanaka. This was really awesome. Like, the way they moved was just amazing to see. And... I'm really sorry, it was an accident. Please just have mercy until my next paycheck. See ya, thanks! Stop right there! What did you do to my DVD? Ah! What the? I can't believe this! It's completely cracked! Oh! My trial of the dragon! I think mine's cracked too. Critical hit to the nads! Are you all right? Oh, Yukiko-san. Are you worried about me? He's fine, Yukiko. Let's ditch him and go home. You're Yuki, right? You want to go hang out somewhere? What? Who, who are you? What's up with him? What school's he from? Never mind that. He's going for Yukiko-san? Man, you'd think he'd at least wait until she's alone to make his move. I bet you a can of tap he gets knocked out. <laughs> no bet. Haven't you heard how difficult the Amagi challenge is? Uh, so, uh, are you coming or not? I... I'm not going. Fine! What... what did he want from me? What did he want? Uh, obviously he was asking you out on a date. Huh? Really? You really had no clue? Sheesh. But then again, that was way over the top. It was creepy how he called you Yuki all of a sudden. Yo, Yukiko-san. Turned down another lovelorn fool, huh? Man, you're cruel. You got me the same way last year. I don't recall doing that. Oh, are you serious? So then you want to hang out sometime? I'd rather not. That'll teach me to get my hopes up. Anyways, you two better not pick on the transfer student too much. Just curious is all! Um, I'm sorry for dragging you into this. Come on, let's go! Everyone's staring. So you came here because of your parents' job? <laughs> I thought it was something way more serious. 
There really is nothing here, huh? That's what makes it nice. But there is nothing much we can show to people from outside. Though there is something from Mount Yasagami. I think our dyed clothes or pottery or something is kind of famous. Oh, wait! And there's the Amagi Inn! Yukiko's family runs it. It's the pride of Inaba. Huh? It's just an old inn. No way! It's been in all sorts of magazines as a hidden treasure! It's a great inn! It's been going for generations, and Yukiko here is gonna take over someday. Their inn actually attracts a lot of visitors to Inaba. It pretty much keeps this town going. I don't think that's entirely true. So, tell me. You think Yukiko's cute, huh? Come on, don't start this again. She's really popular at school, but she's never had a boyfriend. Kind of weird, huh? Come on, stop it. Y you shouldn't believe that, okay? It's not true that I'm popular or that I've never had a boyfriend. Wait, no, no, no. What I meant to say was I, I don't need a boyfriend. Jeez, G.A. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. But this is our chance to talk to someone from the big city. And you barely said a word. Hey, what's that? High schooler left school early, and as she came down this street... Wow! Who could imagine that hanging from an antenna? I wanted to see it too! Oh, you got here too late! The police and fire department took it down just a moment ago. Well, I think it's terrifying. I can't believe a dead body showed up around here. Wait, what did she just say? A dead body? Hey, what are you doing here? Well, you could say that. That damn principal. We told him not to let them through here. You know this guy? I'm Detective Dojima, his guardian. Uh, well, how should I say this? I hope you get along with him. But you three really ought to stop wandering around and head straight home. <coughs> Adachi! How long are you going to act like a rookie? You want to be sent back to the central office? I'm sorry. 
Go wash your face. We're gonna go around and gather information. Was this what that announcement was about? What do they mean it was hanging from the antenna? Hey, Yukiko, why don't we go to Juness some other time? Good idea. All right, then, we're taking off. Starting tomorrow, neighbor, let's do our best. I wonder if Dad's not coming home again tonight. Our top story this evening concerns a bizarre case in a quiet suburb. Around noon today, a woman was found dead near the Samegawa River in Inaba. The deceased has been identified as Miss Mayumi Yamano, a 27-year-old announcer at the local television station. The initial results of the Inaba Police Department's investigation have revealed... <gasps> the, the Inaba Police Department! That's where Dad works! <sighs> I know. That's his job, so this stuff happens. The body was found hanging from a large television antenna atop a local resident's roof. Authorities are uncertain as to why the body was in such a state. With the cause of death also uncertain, police continue to investigate whether the death is an accident or a homicide. A thick fog common to the area has slowed their progress, and plans to fully canvas the area are delayed until tomorrow. They found her on the roof? That's scary. It's Juness! At Juness, every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day is great at your Juness. Every day is great at your Juness.
memorized it already? <laughs> I'm the best one in my class. Someone! <laughs> you saved me. Thanks. Um... Oh yeah, that's right. You're that transfer student. I'm Yosuke Hanamura. Nice to meet you. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Hey, did you hear about the incident from yesterday? They found that announcer lady hanging from an antenna. You think it was some kind of warning? There's no way something that weird could have been an accident. Dangling a dead body over a roof like that? That's just messed up. Then again, it's pretty messed up to kill someone in the first place. Oh crap, we're late! You want a ride? It's a little squeaky, but it should be fine. So, are you getting used to this place? Yeah, well, you just got here. There isn't much to do here compared to the big city, but there is that certain something you can't get anywhere else. The air is clean, the food's great. Oh, you know about the local delicacy? It's grilled steak, man. Like, that's anything special, huh? I know a place where you can get it cheap. Wanna come? You helped me out this morning, so it's on me. What about me, huh? No apologies? My trial of the dragon? You always come around when I'm talking about food. How bad it, Yukiko? Don't you think he should treat us too? I'll pass. I don't want to gain any more weight. I need to help out at the inn today anyway. Wow, Yukiko-san. You started training to take over the business? It's not like that. I'm just helping out when it gets busy. Well, I should be on my way. Oh well. We should get going too. Huh? Do I seriously have to treat two people? This 
is the cheap place you were talking about? Ugh, they don't have grilled steak here. Yeah, well, once you hopped on the freeloader train, I had to change my plans. Still, that's no reason to take us to your place. Dude, this isn't my place or anything. Oh, right. I haven't told you yet, huh? I moved here from another city about six months back. This location just opened up and my dad was assigned to manage it. So our entire family came out here. Here, this is to welcome you to town. Sadonaka, yours is on me too. Yeah, I know. It's only been half a year since this place opened up, but I haven't been to the local shopping district much since. A lot of stores there started closing and... Ooh... Uh... You can't blame it all on Juness, can you? <sighs> hey, it's Saki-senpai. Sorry, be right back. Kanishi. Her family runs a liquor store in the shopping district. I think she's working here part-time, though. Hey, how's it going? You look beat. Hey, I'm finally on break. What's up, Hana-chan? Boosting the family business by bringing your friends here? Ugh! Madam, you wound me! Kidding aside, you look down. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just a little tired. Hey, if you need to talk, I'm always willing to listen. I... <laughs> I'm okay. Thanks, though. Ugh, why'd I leave school early yesterday? Hey, is he the kid who transferred here? Are you the transfer student? Oh, <laughs> did you hear about me already? It must be nice to have someone else from the big city to talk to, huh? I don't see Hana-chan hanging out with the other guys much. Not necessarily. He doesn't have too many friends, so I hope you two get along good. Hana-chan's a good guy, but he can get nosy sometimes. You gotta tell him right to his face when he starts to annoy you. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. Come on, senpai. There's no need to worry about something like that. Well, my break's just about over. Back to work I go. Laters. Oh, uh, senpai? <laughs> Saki senpai says I'm annoying, but she's even nosier than me. She has a younger brother, and she treats me pretty much the same way. Oh! 
here treating you like a brother, huh? <laughs> I get it. So that's how it is. The daughter of a local family-run liquor store and the scion of the invading chain. Oh, the flame of forbidden love. Dude, it's not like that. Oh, really? Well, I know just the thing to cheer up that lovesick heart. You ever hear of the Midnight Channel? You're supposed to look into a TV that's switched off, alone, exactly at midnight on a rainy night. While you're staring at your own image, another person will appear on the screen. And they say that person's your soulmate. What? For a second I thought you were actually going to say something useful. How can you get all excited over such a childish urban legend like that? Childish, huh? You don't believe it, do you? Of course I don't. Well, it's raining tonight. Let's all try it out. Then you'll see. Try it out? Wait, you haven't even tried it yourself? Wow. I'm trying to remember the last time I heard something this stupid. All that aside, you know that incident yesterday? You guys think it was murder? Ooh, what if the culprit behind it was still lurking around? <laughs> Sheesh, you shouldn't joke about stuff like that. Now who's the childish one? All I'm saying is, you guys better try it out tonight. <laughs> 